hello. Today I'm going to carry on with my theme of half and half canvases. So I've already put my base coat Amsterdam white at the top and this is a mixture of colours. It is um, some phalo blue um, but I couldn't decide whether to do phalo blue or whether to do purple. <laughs> so as you can see <laughs> we've ended up with a mixture of the two. So it's a um, Amsterdam blue violet mixed with a phalo blue um, and I it's kind of come out kind of a Cadbury colour <laughs> but darker and when it dries it will be darker still so I think that that will be fine and then I've mixed up this is a light blue with a bit of turquoise in it um, and a bit of purple it's actually a bit of neon purple and it's made it um, a nice kind of air force blue and it, I've just really put it in for some contrast because I wanted to have some light colours that are not shimmery which this is um, along with some shimmery colours. I guess with having a little bit of the purple in with the sky blue um, and the turquoise it just helps to warm it up a little bit so it's not too cool. I didn't want this particular piece to look too much like a sea. Um, in another couple that I've done I particularly wanted it to be like a seascape whereas that isn't really the case with this. That isn't really what I want. This is uh, Deco Art Silver, so that would be nice and shimmery. And by the time that shimmers over onto this dark bluey purple, I think that should look nice. Uh, and of course, that is quite a cool colour. So I'm just putting colour in the middle here. I'm not going to put any colour on either side because I'm going to blow that over with the hairdryer. <laughs> now this colour <laughs> um, is a rose gold but then I felt that it needed a bit more colour to it. So I added some copper to make it a bit darker and then I thought it still needed something. So I've added a dark kind of dark rose colour really um, just to warm it up a little bit and to just make a contrast with the other colours that are there and again yeah it's got a nice shimmer to it So it's just a case of just layering these on really. There isn't any particular order to this. All these colours will mix together when, the, when I put the hairdryer on. So that is that. And then this one is the Amsterdam white that I've already put on the top half. so that when I blow that with the hairdryer, that can also go onto the bottom half a little bit. And then to finish it all off, I have got some Liquitex Gold. I like gold. I think the gold should be really nice with all the other colours. So we've got a nice mixture of warm and cool colours. 
nice shiny glittery colours. And just something a little bit more unusual. And with the background being this dark Cadbury colour, I'm kind of hoping that the whole lot, once it all mingles together, should be quite interesting. <laughs> and I suppose with the gold, I suppose it does look a little bit Cadbury. Yeah, I think that gold, once I've added that on, I can see that it's improving all those other colours. It needed something. I think without the gold, I think those other colours wouldn't have quite worked. So yeah, I'm, I think you know, I'm happy to put quite a bit of gold on. There. There, so that has got those on. I think that should all be okay. Should move these pots out of the way. So what I'm hoping is that I don't want it to be blown out right to the edges. I still want to have the dark as it is and the light as it is, but just with those colours mingling onto it. And all those colours are looking really nice together actually, I'm, I'm quite happy with the way they look. So I'm going to put a line of white, I will put quite a lot of white down, just to help the paint to move a little bit. I do want that paint to move. So I have got quite a lot of paint on the canvas just to help it move that little bit. And then put this bluey purpley colour down. I'll just add a little bit of water to that. I did thicken it up just before I finished spreading it because I felt it was too thin <laughs> and now it feels a bit thick but it'll be fine because this is just to help it to move so if I add a bit of water to it it'll be fine. So just pour that just along the edge because I'm going to blow that over with the hairdryer. Just watered that down enough to be able to get a line across there, so that's good. There, so that has got that down. I will go over that a little bit with the heat gun, see if there's any bubbles that need to come out. Bubble, just there, but I guess it doesn't matter too much at the moment. So yeah, all those colours are looking really nice. I like the way they look. So I'm going to gently blow over the white and then blow over that bluey purple colour. Right, and now I'm going to gently 
blow the colours out a little bit. I don't want it to be too what I call cabbagey around the edges, so I just want to gently tease them out that little bit. And I won't be going too fast with it either. just gently done that. It does need to be a little bit more symmetrical I think. A little bit more up that way. So anything else I will do, I will perhaps spin it a bit and do with a straw. I do love my turntable. Now I will do with my straw. Here's a straw. Maybe put some blue in some of these areas. Yeah, I think it does need to come down a little bit more actually, because there's a lot more in the white.
yes I should bring it all down here a little bit more there's a big concentration of blue I might be able to take that down a bit that looking well I like all those colors I like the dark blue in there well bluey purple I guess I suppose I did want it to be a bit more down that way I could try just lifting it and tilting it slightly just to see what happens Trying not to get paint everywhere. Yeah, that does bring it down just very slightly. Yeah. Because although I want a lot of the blue to show, uh, there was a little bit too much. Yes, and that breaks up those colours a little bit in the middle as well. A little bit higher on that side. Let's see if I can get that to go down any more on that side. Without taking the whole middle down as well. <laughs> Right. Might have to do a little bit more of the straw maybe on that side. It's only a tiny bit. I don't want to stretch that too much, otherwise I think it will all merge together with the colours. It's only a fraction. Yes, that's better. And the top is all looking okay. So I will take the torch over it and some of the bubbles will pop and we might get some nice edging on that white I think as well.
successful painting. I can just see a tiny little hair and I have learnt to make sure I've got some tweezers on hand. A little tiny bit of fluff. There, that was easy. Just make these edges nice. All together, I think that is looking very smooth. Yeah, and I like the way the colours come out with the sides. Yes, I think that that is successful. So, I will turn the camera off and then I will bring you down for a close-up. And you can have a good look at that. Right, so here it is. I should go nice and close up for you. So that you can see, these are nice shimmery colours. Um, you can see that sparkle on that dark side, which is what I always like. But then, by contrast, on the light side, it's nice and subtle. I think that'll be really pretty. I think that's going to be very delicate, actually. And those edges look really nice, not too harsh. I'm saying with this side, not too blown out with the hairdryer. I call it cabbagey when it's too blown out. It just, uh, <laughs> just isn't to my taste. And then those colours mixing together. I think that uh, rose gold mixed with the sort of dark rose colour mixes well with the gold just to warm up all those different colours in there. And you've got that light blue that you can see and the dark blue. So yes, I think that is successful. So what I shall do is I will put this to dry for about 24 hours or so and then I will let you have a look at that as it is drying and you can see how that changes and how the colours change. I find they normally go darker and those edges on the white will probably be a lot more defined as well. So I shall say goodbye for now and I will see you again tomorrow after it's had a chance just to dry that little bit. There, so I'll turn you off now. Well here we are, it is the next day, so this has had not quite 24 hours to dry. It has changed a little bit <laughs> since you saw it last. Um, I was looking at it as it was drying and I, there were some bits I just wasn't, I just felt could be better. So I changed the bottom of it. Um, I did some balloon kisses and added a bit of white in this area. Um, there's three really at the bottom here that I've added, which again just helped to move it down that little bit because when I was making it, I did just feel that the colour needed to come down a bit. Um, and when I looked at it, I just thought, no, it just needed a bit more and it needed a bit more lightness actually around the bottom so i went in with a balloon like i had seen on jilly cubes videos so we have a nice little balloon kiss on this area that lovely little white almost looks kind of like a fairy really it's just very pretty so i've got one balloon kiss there um, I have one that looks pretty similar on that side as well. I just think they look so pretty actually. They really did enhance the painting I felt. Um, and then 
I did another balloon kiss from where that kind of little star looking thing is that added a little bit of blue there and I did just um, pull that out a little bit with a little stick. I did make it into a star and then I thought I actually quite liked it. Um, I felt it made it kind of fairy like in a way really. A little bit sort of fantasy, kind of like a utopian landscape. And then with the white that I picked up from those areas with the balloon, that was the white that I then added to the bottom. You can see that it's still very wet, even though it's nearly 24 hours later. Uh, the edges are drying, and I'm pleased to say they are drying quite a bit darker than they had been. You can see that bit in the middle is still quite a light blue um, but eventually that will all dry to be as dark as the rest and I think then when it is dark there'll be that nice contrast between those colours and the darkness and I, I really like the way that white and a little bit of gold sits on top of that now and then I did do some more little balloon kisses so that's one just there and again it just added a different dimension to it i felt that some of the colors as it was drying looked just a little bit blobby i mean i've kept some that look a little bit blobby with those cells because it adds variation but then there are some bits that you can see are the balloon kisses that just i guess give a kind of almost a flowered look to it so, uh, yes, so that is the painting as it is now. It, uh, I don't know if I said before that this one is quite large. I think it is 50 centimetres by, I think, 40. Might be 30. I think 40. So, uh, there it is. That is how it is looking. And I'm actually really pleased with it. I wasn't sure last night when it was drying. I wasn't sure before I added those little white bits at the bottom. And I was just really happy with those little bits at the top. I just think that it's a bit like a fairyland now. I just really like it. It's just like a utopian landscape. And I think that's going to be lovely when it dries something really quite unusual and different. I think it's one of those paintings when it dries that you'd have on the wall and uh, you couldn't help but keep looking at and see something different. So there, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you like how it's turned out and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.